Topping the list of musicians who have greatly impacted the direction of African music, we all agree, Fela Kuti, a legendary musician who inaugurated the Afrobeat sound, a genre of music used broadly by many successful new school musicians. Hi guys and welcome to Trekara TV. Today we are going to begin our journey down memory lane. We will begin our exploration of the greats with 10 interesting facts about Fela Kuti. His parents were both influential people in the community. His father, an Anglican pastor and school principal who became the first president of the Nigerian Union of Teachers. His mother, Chifo Milayo Ramson Kuti, was a feminist activist in the anti-colonial movement. Fela's musical skill was not the only renowned artistic skill in his family. His first cousin is Nigerian writer Wole Soinka, the first black African to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. Fela's level of success is expected and could be linked to his early start. He learned piano and drums at age 8 and led in the church choir. Despite his parents' wish for their son to study medicine, Fela had other plans, plans to perfect his passion, which entailed the study of music at the Trinity College of Music, the trumpet being his preferred instrument. In an attempt to make his dreams a reality, he found the band Kula Lobitos playing a fusion of jazz, high life while in music school. In 1960, at age 23, Fela got married to his first love, Remy Taylor, who was 20 years old at the time of their marriage. In search for a new direction with his music, Fela took a trip to Ghana, a trip which inspired a new musical direction which he labeled Afrobeat, a combination of high life, funk, jazz, salsa, calypso, and traditional Nigerian Yoruba music. Fela Kuti's music is flooded with messages of black power, songs like Sorrow, Tears, and Blood, which many will say speaks to the current situation in the USA. The inspiration behind these legendary tracks could be traced back to his meeting with Sandra Smith, now Sandra Isador, a partisan of the Black Panther Party who mentored him. After attaining a degree of success in the USA, Fela decided to move back home in 1970 then he constructed a communal compound that housed his family, band and recording studio. He called it Kalakuta Republic, a name which served as a mockery for a prison cell, Kalkuta, a cell which Fela inhibited. This compound also contained a health clinic and on the gate was engraved the words Garagara Omola, which means there is no sense in aggression. In February of 1977, Kalakuta Republic was attacked and burned to the ground by a thousand armed soldiers, reacting to Fela's continuous drive to use his talent to Exposed the ills of a failing military government. This desire prompted him to release the hit track Zumbi, referring to soldiers as Zumbi, and use lines like Zumbi know the walk unless you tell him to walk. With a career lasting years and filled with so many achievements, 10 facts wouldn't just suffice. So stay tuned for part 2 where we get to share 10 more facts about Fela Kuti. Thanks for watching. Be to subscribe and hit the notification button. It's been 8 on Chakara TV. We are craziness with a strategy.